Hello, hello. Listen, I'm aware that I kind of look like poop in this video. But I couldn't even make this up. And I just felt like if I'm going to be doing videos every day, I need to share amazing things that only God could do. Like, I can't even make these stories up. I'm just getting home because I had the opportunity to meet with a beautiful family. But let me explain how this all came to be. I have a friend who works at a coffee shop. And my other friend asked me to go stop in and see her because she was worried about her friend and to drop off a note for her. If I'm honest, my flesh didn't want to go. Really because of selfishness. My flesh didn't want to go because I was like, I'm busy. I have work I need to do. I'm like, I can't just live my life helping everybody. What about me? <laughs> That's me being honest. But then I took a second and I prayed. And I was like, okay, God. I'm just going to go to this coffee shop. I'm going to spend my $5 on the coffee. And I'm going to sit there. And I'll just do work there. And I'll knock two birds out once. And I'll also serve the friend that wants me to see her friend to double check on her. So I go. I sit down. I sit down. Let me get cozy for this story. I sit down. And I am doing work. I'm writing. I'm doing what I do. And I'm overhearing this couple behind me. They have two really cute boys. One of the little boys is running around, coming back. <laughs> One of the little boys uh, runs past my um, my table. And I'm like, he's fine, he's fine. Don't worry about it, he's fine. And um, I'm overhearing and I'm doing an interview with somebody to potentially watch their boys. Now... This is where I get vulnerable and real. I had just interviewed for a position. I'm looking for something part-time to continue while I build my business. But I just need something to keep me financially stable. And um, I'm over here in this interview. With all due respect, I'm thinking, man, I could watch those boys. They're so cute. And I love kids. And I used to nanny. And I watched pastor's kids for a year. And I'm thinking all these things. But I'm listening to the interview, and anyway, I pack my stuff and get ready to go. And I see that they're getting ready to go. And I just turn around and play with one of the little boys, and he was so good. And he was showing me his drink, and I was like, oh, is that your drink? I bend down, I'm looking at him, I love, oh, is that your drink? So now, I'm getting ready to leave and packing my stuff, and in my spirit, in my chest, I'm like, I should just go talk to her, you know? I overheard them interviewing, I'm like, but you're kind of eavesdropping, okay, like, I don't know. Then the lady goes, by any chance you wouldn't be looking to babysit, would you? For dramatic effect. I go, you know what? I actually just interviewed for a part-time job today. And I would be honored to invest in your little boys. Honored. It would be a blessing to me to watch them for you. She starts tearing up and what is so amazing and beautiful about God is the reason she asks because of the tug in her chest that is the power of the Holy Spirit God wants to meet our needs and we just have to listen to that tug in our spirit that's his guiding force the Holy Spirit guides us that tug it's like a I've heard you I have an answer What's crazy is I never go to that coffee shop. And then the beautiful friend that's the barista comes out and goes, I can vouch for the both of you. She's a wonderful human being. And those are, I love this family with their kids. Now, <laughs> if that isn't God working today, I don't know what is. That is God moving and working and growing. And... I feel very blessed to be a part of it. And so the point of this video, I've been doing 21 Days of Positivity. You can't make these stories up. Follow the voice inside your chest. Follow that. That is God guiding you. That's the Holy Spirit that lives within us. That's why Jesus said on the cross and he said he's going to leave a helper for us. That is our helper. I just left spending time with their family to get to know the boys before I start watching them. And they're a beautiful, lovely family. I feel honored I get to serve them. And they feel honored that they receive help. 
That is the God we serve. So good. That's my story. I hope this encourages you. And, um, yeah, thanks for listening. I'm Lexi Rosado.